G'day and welcome, I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at a game called Foul Damage. This is an upcoming platformer, which I think is due to release within the next day. And uh, full disclosure, I received a free review copy of this game from keymailer.co. Now, what do we know about this game? Uh, you are an egg, and you suffer fall damage from your own jumps. Um, that's about all I know. It's a, meant to be an atmospheric platformer. I think it's a solo indie dev as well. So a bit of a passion project there, from what I've read. Um, basically, you need to really think about your movement and your jumping and falling. So, it's a fully-fledged level editor as well, which I might get a chance to look at uh, before the end of the video. But let's jump in and have a look. Okay. Three save files. House of Claws. <laughs> okay. So you just, you literally just... You, you hit a wall, <laughs> you land from too high, you're just dead. Okay. Interesting. I love the rolling animation. Beautiful. Okay. So if you just limit your fall distance, you should be okay. Okay. Good. Why don't I do that? Think in my mind that looks like a little secret entrance or something. Uh, alrighty. It's too far. Ah, need to drop down to go up. Gotcha. This is going to take some getting used to, I think. This is going to, um, it really goes against everything you've learned about platformers before. What is that? Is that a feather? Okay. I think that feather was just a collectible. Oops. I thought for a second it might uh, give me like a feather fall or something, but it looks like it was purely just a collectible item. How do we... Okay, you just roll. Good. Use the momentum. There's another feather. How do we get that without exploding? Oh, I suppose I jump back up to that platform, right? There we go. And you collect it when you leave the screen. This is, um, it says in the Steam description that it's an atmospheric platformer, and yeah, I'm feeling that now. <laughs> I thought, how, how atmospheric can a game about an egg with full damage be? But the music and the, the scenery is quite, uh, it just sets a little dark little scene, doesn't it? Where are we going? Not sure if I want to be up here. I thought the red lights had been indicating that uh, it was a point of interest, but maybe not. Hello? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oops. Try that again. It's just maybe it's just me, but I'm just instantly forgetting that, you know, a fall over a couple of tiles high will just kill me instantly. <laughs> so forgive me if I die stupidly a million times. Uh okay. Until the portal. This is just mind blowing. This is a game about an egg. Have a look at it and listen to it. Alright, trap platforms. Oops. Jeez. <laughs> Just that simple little change just makes you rethink everything that you've ever known about a platformer. There's red blocks there. Nice. Alright, ride this down a little bit. 
then jump. Beautiful. Why are these red blocks so creepy? It looks like they've got eyes in them. And they're glitching out. Oh, I think I know what I have to do. If I don't run to the end one. It's a matter of learning. Oh, whoops. Learning exactly how high your jumps are as well, because you don't have any control. You know, in most platformers, you hold down the button, you jump a bit higher. In this one, the jump is just the jump. And that's what you get. Um, okay. Let's think this one through a little bit. <clears throat> Can I... Of course, you can uh, experience damage from uh, below as well. Whoops. Wait, what did I do? Oh, there we go. Okay. There's a red light up there. Can I get... Is there anything to do up there? Guess not. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Good. What is that? Oh, it's another portal. Okay, if you hit the portal on the full without hitting the ground, you're safe. Good to know. Alright, you can uh, pass through those platforms. I'm crouching. <laughs> Look at him crouch. Love it. And uh, even though it's all about this uh, unique little feature, the Platforming movement itself is actually really solid. It's very snappy and responsive, as I suppose it needs to be in a game like this. Oh, I'm tempted to go up, but I don't want to do this whole room again if I stuff up. Okay. How's this going to work? I need to come down from the top to get that. Ah, whoops. Oops. It really teaches your patience. Not always a uh, strength of mine. Nice. Such a simple little concept, and it's just completely game-changing. Um, no, I can't do that, can I? I could do this. Awesome. <laughs> Is that... Yep, that's solid. It's gone very quiet. Nice. There we are. Oh, okay. Um... Oh man, I just can't get over the fact that like someone's made a platformer when 
where just jumping is enough to kill you. Oh. Oh no. Missed it. Really? Come on. Damn it. And again, I immediately forget, no, you can't do that. <laughs> I don't feel so uh, quiet since the music stopped. Makes me feel like a very lonely little egg here. Is this possible? Yes, it is. Awesome. Ooh, another portal. Where are we going this time? Okay, music's back, that's good. Is there anything down here? Nope. <laughs> Worth a check. Uh, oh, don't touch the, uh, whatever that is. Noted. Oh. Nope. think these things. Oh. <laughs> right. This is getting surreal now. Uh, where do you go from there? Kills you. Oh, I'd have to fall into that one early. Maybe. There we go. Uh, is this a way out? Apparently not. Uh, what do I have to do? Oh, climb back up, I suppose. Yeah, that makes sense. What am I doing different there? Did I do it after? My past. Oh no, I said early, didn't I? I can't remember. Yeah, a little short term memory. How good is it? <laughs> Jesus. Again, apologies if you made if you made it this far, this is probably very tedious for you. Do I have to No. How do I do it? <laughs> Not like that. Surely. Or did I just sit on that platform? Is that safe? That doesn't look safe. Man, I'm, am I losing my mind? What did I do? I mean, if I'm sure if I keep trying the exact same thing over and over and over, it'll eventually work for me, but I just can't think of what I've done. I think it take a moment. <laughs> what on earth? I remember saying to myself, I need to go early. 
going as early as I can. I'm very confused. So if I, if I wait, then there's nowhere to go. Oh, I need to jump, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Joke it. I apologize. Oh jeez. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna remember to edit this out. This is embarrassing now. I did. I did warn you at the start. There will be a million stupid, stupid deaths. drop onto you and then jump up there. There we go. Oh, got it eventually. Oops. <laughs> Getting tilted now. Oh, <laughs> you really need to get a feel for just your jump momentum because it's so easy to uh, just misjudge and die completely. Okay, now we're getting <laughs> now we get a bit hardcore here. Oh man. How long is this game? I wonder. Oh! Do I want to be up there? I don't think so. A green feather. And a pink feather. Right, I do want to be up there, but... I think I have the ability to get back up there now. Might have missed the missed the boat on that one. Um, I'll use my momentum to get across there. Fall onto that one. Fall onto that one. Too much. Too much. So that I'm using a controller for the first time in quite a while. Alrighty. Oh, what? I'm back here. No. I want to go ahead and get that pink feather now, surely. Not really a completionist, but I mean, it was there for the taking. Just means you have to suffer through me doing this again. Might edit this. <laughs> for your sake. Ugh. This, is a, this was a mistake. I regret my choices. myself at the last minute there that I didn't need to go back down and get that feather again. <laughs> so that probably saved me a few minutes of frustration. Oh my god. But it might introduce a few minutes of different kinds of frustration. Nice. 
There we are. So the filler was up here, I want to say. There we go. And I can just leave that area backwards to claim that, which is nice. Oh dear. That's good though, there's some challenges if you're the uh, collectible type. So I'm guessing that green feather was like a like a special bonus one or a secret one, I suppose you could say, a challenge collectible. And the pink one seemed to be the standard. So climbing this elevator was obviously just a little side path. I guess is what this game is telling me. And the true path would be down here. All right, so it is worth sort of looking for a more challenging approach, I guess. Uh, don't jump to enter doors. Now where are we? Oops. Okay, so you got to go down to go up, basically. What is this? I don't trust this. Um, <laughs> it's uh, ominous. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, okay. Get down. I did not expect that from this. Uh... Oh my god. From this little eggy platformer. I'll tell you that much. Clearly, I am. No, oh, no, why don't I just keep going? Come on, lock it. Uh. Oh, that's, yep, makes sense. I panicked. <laughs> oh, there's a feather down there. How do I get that? No, oh, not like that. I think I might actually have to... Um, backtrack for it? Potentially? Yeah, there's no way I can jump to it. I just got an achievement. Break the egg 100 times. It's a little bit sad. Oh, no. They've timed this well. Uh oh. <laughs> I 
Okay. I escaped the claw. Oh. The old classic go backwards at the side of a level trick, eh? Donkey Kong taught me well all those years ago. How does egg... Ah, uh, okay. Water suppresses the jumps and potentially the fall damage as well. Yes, it does. Interesting. I'm so, oh, when I was saying earlier, like, how long is this game? I was thinking, how much content can you get out of this idea? You know? Uh, but, clearly the uh, dev has thought about this. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was blown away by what a simple concept it is, and um, just the level of polish. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake. Um, yeah, just yeah. It seems like it could have been like a a five minute flash game that you, you sort of do a couple levels and you finish it and you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty fun. And then they just polish it, refine it, add all these new features and concepts to it. And now it's a fleshed out enjoyable game. What is going on here? So it's a, okay. Introducing you to bubbles. Nice. So it keeps uh, surprising. Can't jump there. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. Looked like I could reach that, but I think I'm just short. <laughs> Something satisfying about those bubbles. And interesting, what a tonal shift. It's all very chill now. It's like, okay, I'm just going to chill out here in this uh, little water area. Teach you the ropes. Maybe drown you a couple of times. That's it. You silly. I just have to check. Was there anything down here? Of course there was. Wait on, there was another path. No, I'm just going to claim that. Ah, uh, another green one. Holy moly. <laughs> that is awesome. Where's my platform? So even just fitting in little uh, secret paths like that just makes all the difference to a game, I think. 
Oh no. I was just about to say I need to run off the screen there just to reset that as my spawn point. But uh, then when I tried to backtrack to do that, I killed myself. So don't do that. So I need to just go off and back on. Just So that's my respawn point. <laughs> I just wanted to see what was there. <laughs> oh, oh man. Interesting. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's got to be, got to be, um, collected from above. Ah, come on. It's funny, the game still manages to like make you panic and just misjudge completely or just completely forget the, like that, that you just can't jump wherever you feel like it. It undoes years of platforming instinct. Which is good, because you don't see things that are this new and unique all that often anymore. I'm going to walk that way just to lock in that feather. Oh, hello. But then you have the question, what was up? There's clearly another path up there. feather up there. No, there's no way back up though. It's unfortunate. Another little portal. Again, a sudden atmosphere change. It's just, yeah. When when the game describes itself as atmospheric, this is what you expect. But you don't expect it from like a, a silly little pixel platformer, hey? Oops! Jumps into the sun. Oops! Did it again. to leave it in there. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
All right. <laughs> Kicking up a notch. Uh, what am I supposed to do there exactly? Um, go backwards. Dodge that. There we go. Holy moly. this <laughs> Miss them all. oh there's a feather down there oh no <laughs> Sort of launched out of these with a bit of momentum, which is hard to judge. Too much momentum. into a bubble and then drop down into the water? Maybe? Imagine if this had a, like a death review thing like in Meat Boy. Seeing all these eggs just flying around the stage and just dying in the same place over and over and over. I think I need to work out what I was doing to get that consistent jump. I'm going to get really close, jump out, pull left, I feel like there's got to be an easier way. I think I'm missing something. Like that, maybe. That'll do it. There we go. aren't solid. That's good to know. That was all this just a little challenge level. I'm back here. Bloody hell. I can't even remember what I was missing out on. There was a feather up here, wasn't there? How do I get that though? <laughs> Uh, is it possible? Am I dumb? Have I learned nothing? Oh my god. Apparently not. The instinct to play this just like a normal platformer is just too strong.
Another little uh, scenery shift here. <laughs> it really makes you go the long way around. And we made it out. There's another area. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. We're 40 minutes in and we've seen quite a bit of the game. And uh, it's not really clear how much more there is to go. We can warp. Oh, and there's some secret areas I've missed as well. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, so as I said, this is um, due to come out, I think, in the next day, next 24 hours, 24th of September on Steam, depending on your time zone, whenever that might be. So by the time you watch this, it may already be out. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. You can go check it out for yourself. Um, definitely worth it. It's great fun if you're a platform fan. Um, it's not, I mean, you saw me try things over and over and over again, and it was probably too tedium and frustration, but it didn't feel like I wasn't raging at it like some other games might uh, make you rage. It's just too chill, and you know, I'm just too interested in seeing what they're doing next and how they're building this crazy world where you're just an egg and there's forests and riverbeds and giant mechanical claws. I'm still trying to make sense of all that, but uh, Anyway, that might be for the next session. So thank you again for watching. As I said, check out this game. This is Foul Damage. I'll link it in the description below. And I'm always looking for new and upcoming indie games to cover. So if you have any game suggestions, please feel free to leave me a recommendation in the comments below. And I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you again for watching. And I'll see you next time.